All right, so how to set up your Ford 8-inch or 9-inch, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, these uh, axles are pretty good, uh, easy to set up, but uh, because of the positioning of the pinion, okay, this... Because of the positioning of the pinion, it can take, it's, it's, it makes it strong, right? Um, but where this is at, okay, if you look at that, I don't know if you can see that, where the pinion comes in, um, it, it, it's strong, all right? But because it comes in like this, it wants, that pinion wants to ride up on the ring gear, okay? And because of that, th those forces, those rotational, you know, torsional forces, forces, they require a support bearing, okay? Now, that support bearing is right here. Okay. And from time to time, if you if you put enough power to it, what'll happen is it'll actually break right here. Okay. Now case in point, hold on here. So this right here, you can tell this was used just just today. See how it's broke? That support is broke. Yeah, this is a this is a Ford nine inch, okay. And they're easy to set up. I've got like five, six more over there that aren't broke, but this one's broke. Now, the way you set these up is real simple, and. You can, this is actually probably the first differential if you want to rebuild them. These are probably the uh, first differentials you want to actually uh, get a hold of first. Everything is adjustable, okay? There's no shims. Uh, you do have a crush sleeve in there, which is pretty easy to set up. You knock these, these uh, races out, you press new races in. And you can even put this on a heating pad, get it up to 250, put the races in the freezer and they'll drop right in. Same goes with here, that bearing right there. I like to heat up around here, tap it out. It'll actually just fall right out. And everything, I mean, all you gotta do is just unscrew this and screw it in place and set your backlash, set your heel to toe. And you just want a little bit of I think it's like five, five to seven. And on a used uh, rear end, it's about uh, 10 to 12. So, but at any rate, these are really simple to rebuild. And without further ado, and you can see, you can, I mean, I'm replacing the axle, the, uh, the original axle. This out of a 65 Mustang. The original axle, see where the bearing tore up here? Yeah, so had to, had to get a new axle here, axle shaft. And this is actually a cut the length one, but you don't need to. This is just full length for the right side. And I think the right side is longer. So yeah, um, got that online, it, it came in. And um, just kind of putting this thing together, and I reminded myself um, I need to make a video. I, you know, I told you guys I'd make a video on how to rebuild these. So here goes. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is, in fact, what you are working on, either an eight inch or a nine inch, and you basically now. 
Go get yourself a Dana, Spicer, Mosier, something that can take abuse and won't rob horsepower. Okay? That's the best thing you could do. They got a better pinion angle. They transfer power better. And they're really easy to set up. Not as easy as screwing things together, but they're easy. You just got to do a couple. And then it's a no-brainer. So that's how you rebuild a 4 to 8-inch or 9-inch. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip.